Hello bookworm family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell because it's always a mystery when I post new videos. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, the link to that is down below in the description box, but it is at Danny's Book Corner 2018. I strongly recommend you go follow me on there because I post on there way more than a post on here, but I try to post on here, but I really post on there a lot more, especially if you like full length book reviews and that kind of stuff definitely go on there. Um, so today I'm not my normal setup just because I have a wicked quick unboxing. I know that this is a wicked quick unboxing because I kind of know what's in the box. Like I don't know what books are in it, but I know it's just books. It's not like bookish goods. Um, so I'm just kind of sitting on my bed, but you get to see all my Harry Potter stuff in the background. It's not my normal setup of the books behind me, but hey, not a big deal. Um, I'm wicked still not feeling well. I'm like wicked stuffed up. I think I just have like a sinus thing going on, but so if I'm like stuttering over my words or taking like deep breaths all of a sudden like I just did, it's because I'm just not feeling great and I'm blah, 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 blah. But you know I guys, I cannot wait to do unboxings. I have to as soon as they hit my doorstep do it right then and there. So that is what we are doing today. So this book box is from bookcase.club. Um, it is a super, super cheap subscription box. I actually found this by looking up cheap or free subscription book boxes. And this was one of the ones that came up. It's really, really cheap. Um, I'll post all the information down below, but this box alone did not cost me more than, I think it only cost me like 10 bucks for my first box because it was um, like, there was like a coupon and like codes and stuff like that that you could use on the first box. Um, you get to pick between a ton of different genres. I believe I picked teen mystery. I don't remember because I picked it like a week ago. Like this shipped in seven days. It's not like I picked this like three months ago and I don't remember what's in it. No, it was only a week ago. I just really don't remember what I picked, but I'm pretty sure I'm like 99% sure, like 90, 99, maybe like 90, maybe like 88% sure uh, that I picked Teen Mystery. So these books should be related to Teen Mysteries. There's no bookish goods in here. It is just books, but that's okay too, because all books are good books, right? Um, and I believe these are not like super new releases. I'm not sure about that. I believe they're just like newly released within the year. So we're going to find out. But I don't think they're new releases. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about this whole video so far. And I've just said a whole bunch of stuff that's not true. But we're going to find all that information out right now. Because we're going to unbox it. So open it up. And the very first thing I see is a little hello letter. Some pretty... Uh, custom tissue paper and their little hashtag up here with the take pictures and share thing. So let's see what our note says. Hello. Greetings from bookcase.club. We just want to thank you for being our subscriber. We enjoy the opportunity to guide you in the adventure of discovering books and authors that you may have otherwise never had the pleasure of reading. Each year, more than 330,000 new and edited books are released in the United States. With so many books to choose from, we know that you don't have enough time to read them all. That's where we come in. Each month, we showcase debuts and standalone books from a diverse range of titles. So maybe they are new releases? I don't know. We showcase debut, maybe, I don't know. Some authors may be popular, others obscure, but we want to give you the chance to find a brand new favorite. We are constantly growing. Don't forget you can change your case at any time. Bookcase.club appreciates all of your feedback. And again, thank you sincerely for giving us this opportunity. Well, thank you, Bookcase.club. I don't know, I think you're just supposed to say Bookcase Club, but you know, I, I gotta add the dot in there. It's there for a reason. So this is the outside um, of this. So I'm thinking I did go with Teen Mystery. I don't know. Okay, thank you for choosing the Teenage Dreams case. Okay, so it does show the books in there. So I'm not looking at that yet. Um, and then the back shows, enjoy your case. Let us know by leaving a review. Want to experience other genres? You can switch at any time. And then it just shows you from there the other genres okay anyway let's get into the books because that's what we're here for right so I'm gonna open up the tissue paper so satisfying all right Ooh. Ooh. hmm I've never heard of either of these so this first one is burning midnight by will McIntosh it says 17 year old David Sullivan's life is all about to change 
all because of one tiny priceless item found in the murky bottom of the Brooklyn water towel tower. Sully is a spear dealer at a flea market. It doesn't pay much. Alex Holiday's stores have muscled out most of the independent sellers, at, but it helps him and his mom make the rent. No one knows where the brilliant colored spheres came from. One day they were just there, hidden all over the earth, huge gemstones. Burn a pair and they make your little make you a little better, an inch taller, skilled at math, better looking, etc, etc. The rarer the spheres, the more expensive and the greater the improvement. When Sully meets Hunter, a girl with a natural talent for finding the spheres, the two start searching together. One day they find gold, a color no one has ever seen, and when Alex Holiday learns what they have, he will do any lengths, he will go to any lengths, will use all of his wealth and power to take it from them. There's no question the gold is worth millions, but what does it actually do? None of them is aware of it yet. But the fate of the world rests on this little golden orb because all the world fights over spheres, but no one knows where they came from, what their powers are, or why they're here. That sounds interesting. Hmm. It's got some nice big print in it. And it is, let's see, 312 pages, so not terribly long. Um, I've never heard of Will McIntosh before, so th this is definitely a new one to me. And it says it's a Hugo Award winning author, so this one sounds really interesting. Really, really interesting. Um, and then it's got the value of the spheres on the back. And this book is priced at $17.99, so already got more than what I paid for, which is awesome. Let's check out this next book. The next book is called Blood Rose Rebellion by Rosalyn Eves. Um, it's got kind of like, it's not like your normal hardcover book, like normally a hardcover book has like a dust jacket on it. This is more like, um, like the great illustrated books you guys know what I'm talking about like I, I it's very rare to see like a hardcover without a dust jacket these days so already kind of interesting uh, let's see does it tell me what the book is about anywhere hmm does it does it tell me what the book hmm does it tell me what the book is about hmm <laughs> So far, no. So far, there's nowhere um, telling me. It just says some rebels are born, are made, not born. Let's see. Where's my phone? Let's look up what it's about, guys, because I'm curious, and I'm sure you are too. But it is called Bl Blood Rose Rebellion by Rosalind Eve. So let's look it up. Blood Rose Rebellion. All right. It says. Pulling up my Goodreads. Please hold. This is not sponsored. Goodreads did not sponsor this moment. My Wi-Fi is really slow. Alright, here we go. In a world where social prestige derives from a trifecta of blood, money, and magic, one girl has the ability to break the spell that holds social order in place. Oh, I gotta hit more. Okay, it's not letting me read the more. I want the whole book review! What is this book about? <laughs> what is the book about? It doesn't show me the whole thing. It just says that much. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Can you tell me what this book is? Oh, there we go. Okay. So, sorry if my angle changed. Mid reading the book review, my phone died. My camera died. So, I use an old phone as a camera. That's why I said phone. But yeah, so let's finish with what this is about. It says, 16 year old Anna Arden is barred from society by a defect, blood, defect of blood. Though her family is part of the Illuminati, powerful users of magic, she is barren, unable to perform the simplest of spells, which is like my worst nightmare. That's like being a squib. That's horrible. Anna would do anything to belong, but her fate takes another course when after inadvertently breaking her sister's debutante spell, an important chance for a high-born young woman to show her prowess of magic, Anna finds herself exiled to her family's once powerful but now crumbling native hung Hungary. Her life might- <laughs> this, this book review is not very well written. Whoever wrote this has some spelling errors. Sorry if I'm like struggling. Her life might be over. In Hungary, Anna discovers that nothing is quite as it seems. Not the people around her, from her aloof cousin Naomi to the fierce and handsome Romani. 
Not the society she's known all of her life for discontent with Illuminati is sweeping the land. And not her lack of magic, isolated from on from the only word world she cares about. My goodness, I can't read. Anna still can't seem to stop herself from breaking spells. As a rebellion spreads across the region, Anna's unique ability becomes a catalyst everyone is seeking. In the company of noble, noble re revolutionaries <laughs> and Romanies, <laughs> I can't read, Anna must choose, deny her unique power and cling to life she's always wanted or embrace her ability and change that world forever. That sounds interesting. I don't know if it sounds as good as Burning Midnight. Burning Midnight definitely sounds good. Let's see when they were published. Like, how long ago were these published? So, these are not new books from within the year. Because this was published in 2016. So, Burning Midnight was published in 2016. And Blood Rose Rebellion was published in 2017. So, I don't know what this bit about... Each year, more than 330,000 new books and edit new and edited books are released in the United States. Each month, we showcase debuts and standalone books. Okay, so maybe these are standalones, like not necessarily debut. I don't really know. Anyway, um, I mean, it's definitely worth the value of the box if you like getting mystery books because this one, this one doesn't have a price on it. But I mean, it's a big thick hardcover book so I can only imagine it probably is pretty expensive um and then this one was $17.99 again with the coupon codes and everything I only paid $10 for this box so really 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 great deal for two books I mean if you're cool with getting blind books I definitely think I'll read Burning Midnight I'm not necessarily sure if I'll read Blood Rose Rel Re Rebellion. Can't even read the title, so probably not. Um, but I might look it up and see if anybody's done reviews on that book to see what other people have thought. But yeah, if you guys are interested in getting your own bookcase.club or bookcase club, whatever, uh, box, then I will put all that information down in the description box below. Uh, and thank you guys so much for watching. This was just a super short video, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Bye!